Hi, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Dilip Kumar. Today in this video, we will talk about uh, the touch me not plant. The, this plant is also called as uh, shame plant, sensitive plant and uh, some other uh, names. And uh, this is native of, you know, it, uh, you know, native origin of uh, South Americas. And also now this plant grows in almost uh, all countries of the world, like, you know, South of uh, South uh, East Asian countries, Australian countries. African countries and also Australia it grows. In some countries it is uh, regarded as uh, invasive plant that means once it grows it will not uh, let any other uh, plant to grow in its uh, sur surroundings that is how it is uh, regarded as, a, as well as it is called as uh, you know uh, uh, invasive plant and uh, the main predators of this you know uh, spider uh, mimosa you know sp uh, plant is sp spider uh, mite and uh, mimosa webworm are the main uh, uh, predators which uh, feed on these uh, leaves impact in agriculture is you know in agriculture it's considered as uh, weeds uh, weed in it grows in almost uh, all vegetable uh, plantations like uh, tomato potato uh, coffee cotton sugarcane and uh, mango grow garden now we are in uh, cashew garden even in this cashew garden after a month it will be completely invaded with uh, you know uh, this uh, mimosa pudica and also imp the main in even though it's uh, regarded as uh, agriculture you know uh, uh, weed in agriculture there is a lot of uh, ecological importance or it's you know significance that means it purifies soil by extraction of uh, heavy metals and also heavy metals such as you know even uh, copper zinc uh, tin it uh, ex extracts in the soil and uh, there is a nitrogen fixation happens in this uh, plant uh, where there is a uh, you know nitro nitrogen is uh, very important for uh, plant uh, growth as well as uh, reproduction and uh, these nitrogen fixing properties of this you know mimosa pudica is uh, uh, you know uh, due to that the high content nitrogen we can found in its uh, uh, leaves plant leaves and also the nitrogen fixing bacteria it is there in the uh, root nodules of this uh, plant can you focus here you know about this uh, root nodules uh, here you can uh, focus the root nodules are uh, uh, here uh, yeah these the, the, these you can uh, focus these are the nodules there is a, a bacteria which uh, habitats on this uh, uh, root nodules because of that uh, it converts you know uh, atmospheric nitrogen into the form that uh, you know uh, plants can uh, use that nitrogen and uh, these are the you know uh, very impo important uh, ecological factors and also the propagation is uh, you know like uh, it grows very good in polluted soil and also it needs uh, very good uh, sunlight it won't uh, grow good in cold climates as well as uh, poor sunlight uh, areas and uh, nutritional properties of this uh, plant is i'll show you some you know even propagation uh, even with this uh, cuttings also it grows even just you make a small piece of this uh, mimosa pudica plant even it, with this cutting it uh, grows you just uh, throw it somewhere it will grow on its own and also these are the flower after flower it will become as uh, you know this is also a family of uh, leguminae you know uh, family it uh, carries and uh, uh, even as per my experience even it grows on you know seeds also and as per my experience even with this uh, small uh, pot of uh, you know even the uh, what you call uh, root it grows uh, uh, this you know plant this is about uh, propagation and uh, uh, this is in uh, uh, individual houses you can focus uh, you know the uh, flowers uh, in individual houses actually some people grow it as a uh, just out of curiosity you know they grow even you can bring your children uh, sometime and then you can show about this uh, touch me not plant it is very interesting uh, uh, plant and uh, about nutritional properties is it contains you know a lot of uh, alkaloids flavonoids c glycosides sterols uh, terenoids tannins 
and saponin and uh, fa fatty acids it uh, you know the extract of this uh, plant contains green yellow fatty oils uh, extract uh, you know this extract lowers serum serum cholesterol levels and also it increases hdl by thus it decreases the risk of heart disease and uh, stroke uh, some medicinal properties it is very interesting uh, it has uh, antibacterial and anti venom you know in the uh, uh, organized uh, indian uh, spitting cobra uh, it uh, it works and also it uh, it has got uh, antidepressant uh, aprodiasc anti convulsant and also various other uh, pharmacological uh, properties in traditional or classical you know uses it's uh, used as an important uh, ingredient uh, in uh, hemato hematormia and uh, files diarrhea persistent and uh, dysentery and uh, uh, it uh, this paste was used to apply over uh, files Uh, ulcers wounds in uh, olden days this was a popular herb for uh, treating diseases of uh, female genital tract and various uh, gynecological uh, diseases uh, the leaves the leaves of this plant together with the uh, leaves from other medicinal plants are uh, used in treating hemorrhoids and uh, urinary infections the juice is used to treat sinus sores piles and uh, fistula the roots again uh, you can uh, uh, focus about these uh, roots the decoction of these uh, roots of this plant was used to treat uh, dysentery fever uh, syphilis and leprosy stomach worms and also uh, venereal diseases or uh, stds uh, insect bite insomnia uh, nervousness and uh, piles some and majorly some very important endemic uses of uh, this Uh, touch me not plant is the leaves are used for increasing the sexual potency in uh, uh, men it's uh, used in kurukshetra district of uh, aryana in india it's a uh, roots you know these uh, roots uh, are used for uh, gravel and other kidney diseases uh, also for files and fistula in the sagar district of madhya pradesh india the roots are also used as uh, oral snake bite uh, snake bite remedy this root decoction is used for uh, gum trouble and uh, toothache in west bengal in ecuador the leaves of this uh, plant are used in pillows to induce uh, sleep to get uh, better sleep in children as well as in uh, elderly people in orissa the warmed uh, root paste is uh, you know are uh, plastered with the elf of a cloth on uh, boils to get uh, relief uh, the paste of root fried in castor oil is applied on uh, deep cut wounds to stop bleeding and also for uh, healing the leaf paste is applied on the burst boils and it is for uh, quick healing the leaf paste is you know applied on forehead to get relief from headache and uh, migraine and also the leaf paste is uh, Uh, with honey is uh, prescribed twice uh, a day in empty stomach for 3 uh, to 4 days for uh, stomach ache and uh, intestinal worms uh, now you know we talked about these uh, leaves you know uh, about even these leaves are uh, used as uh, made as make as a uh, paste as well as uh, uh, even in ecuador it's used as a uh, sleep inducing in uh, pillows for uh, children and uh, elderly people this is how i'll just uh, touch this plant uh, you can focus little this is how it uh, you know i'll tell you once you touch this uh, as a scientific uh, study the water content it uh, you know goes towards the te uh, stem uh, stem side that is why these uh, leaves get uh, folded these are uh, this is how it, these uh, leaves get uh, folded you know whatever these medicinal properties and uh, traditional uses if you think there is no scientific uh, uh, evidence or uh, this thing uh, uh, in uh, in united states uh, national uh, library of uh, medicine and also uh, national center for biotechnology uh, information as uh, 
studied a lot on these uh, plants i will uh, mention that in the description uh, whatever they studied about these uh, mimosa podica uh, even you can take your children to any nearby you know uh, this mimosa podica growing field and then you can show them it is very interesting topic and please let us know in our next video on which topic you want to make the video thanks for watching please subscribe to our youtube channel